Beep, 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 beep. Breaking news, guys. This just in. The internet cannot be censored. Huh? If you want more context to this, then please just stay tuned for more. Bro, you got banned from Twitter and Facebook again? What the hell's wrong with you, man? Don't you know about those rules and regulations and all that stuff? Come on, man. Come on, man. Anyways, listen, brother. We'll talk about it later, but there's options, man. Forget Facebook. You know, forget all these other things. You know, there's there's other programs out there. You know, have you tried Steam it? Have you tried Gab? Um, forget that Brave browser. I know, I know. Look, let's not even get started. You know what? I gotta make an episode. In fact, we're gonna be talking about this right now. And then uh, once I'm done, well, you know, I'll show you exactly what you can do. Okay? Promise. You'll be fine. The internet is not censored. It's not all lost, guys. How's it going? Forgot that you guys were even there. I, I always forget I got this thing on. But anyways, welcome back, and uh, how's it going? Today, we're literally gonna be talking about um, internet censorship, and not just censorship, I mean, well, actually, just censorship, but the word censorship can actually mean a lot of freaking things. It's not just the fact that you're not allowed to say certain things or think certain things. That censorship can take many, many forms. And um, as of today, you know, not, if, and not, not as of today, but as of a while ago now, you know, for a while, you know, we have been living through a lot of censorship. You know, um, for, for a lot of you guys out there that are old enough to remember the beginnings of the internet back in 1990, whatever the hell, um, you guys remember, it was like the wild, wild west. Nothing was censored. In fact, even if they wanted to censor something, they had no idea on how to do it. And as they eventually, I'm talking about the governments and stuff and the people in power, um, as they eventually started figuring out how to censor this stuff, well, guess what? We were always 10 steps ahead, um, you know, literally getting away from the censorship, getting away from the hands of the government, getting away from these powers that be, and still doing what we want to do. And now, uh, you know, fast forward to today where we are seeing massive censorship, not just in the US, but in places like China and pretty much anywhere around the world. Um, even here in Mexico, I get censored. And, um, you know, that's why I, you know, use a VPN. And uh, what is a VPN? Well, you know, in layman terms, all a VPN is is that it's, a, it's like a program that you put on your computer or your phone and it masks, you know, like a mask, like, like a mask, it masks your address and your identity so that you are allowed to see the whole internet. So if all of a sudden you're in China and you are behind that great firewall, but you wanna see what's happening in the US, well, you would jump on a VPN and they would give you, it would, uh, instead of having your computer say a Chinese address, it would say an American address and all of a sudden you're open to the American internet and you get to see what's going on there and vice versa. And it goes along pretty much everywhere. So a lot of times when I can't access certain things out here because, you know, my address is a Mexican IP address at the moment, well, I use a VPN to give myself whatever address I fucking want. And I'm able to literally explore the whole internet. And I'm sure most of you guys know about these things. And if you don't, well, now you know. If you want to know more information about a VPN, well, then just do some homework on a VPN. It's really not that hard to... Um, to figure out, to install, and eventually, you know, um, just use on a, on a regular day-to-day -day basis. And uh, I know it's it's a little bit um, harder for you know for most people to use, only because it costs money every single month. And but there are free um, versions available and all that. But again, we're not talking about VPNs here today because, well, I don't have any VPN services that are sponsoring today's show. <laughs> but honestly. Um, we're just going to be talking about the censorship that we are all experiencing on every level humanly possible. And then we're also going to be talking about the solutions that we have now and the solutions that we will have in the very, very, very near future. Right now we're living in a world in which even though we're getting censored left and right all over the place, at the same time we're all collectively discovering that we really cannot be censored. And um, the only thing that they they can do, you know, I'm talking about the government and the people in power, is that they can incentivize others so that we 
the people censor ourselves and that's basically where we're at right now you know all they're doing is that they're making it harder for us to live our regular everyday lives by censoring us online okay and how do they censor us well they they set examples you know so they go we we constantly see the examples that of people out there that are constantly challenging the system challenging the status quo challenging uh what can be said what can be done online and um sometimes these people get caught and but when they get caught really the major main repercussion that happens is that they are stained you know in in, in society more than anything else because you know what happens is that a lot, like a lot of times, you know, we have to self-censor ourselves because if we say the wrong thing, then when the next day when we go to work, we're probably going to get fired because of what we said or didn't say online or on our social media. And so this forces a lot of people to, you know, create um, fake accounts, create fake um, entities, you know, f fake yeah, identities online so that they can interact and voice their real opinions online because if they were to self-represent themselves well you already know what happens you know a lot of major repercussions happen so you know a lot of people end up doing that and um you know for example um i have been going through a lot of uh trouble with the brave browser now let me put some context into this for all of you guys in the crypto community you guys already know where i'm going with this just hang tight for like one minute so I can explain to those that have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. Now, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, we, for everyone online uses a web browser. Whether you're using Internet Explorer, whether you're using um, uh, Google Chrome, or in, in some cases nowadays, some people are using this brand new browser called the Brave Browser. Now, when the Brave Browser first came about over a year ago, it came about with the, with the idea. They were, their selling point was the fact that, hey, we're on this blockchain. We're using all this new technology. We're decentralized. We're going to allow you to use this awesome browser called the Brave Browser so that you can freely, you know, search the Internet. You, you know, it, it, it blocks ads. It blocks your information from being accessed it, it helps you um you know helps mask your identity and anyways it was it was literally touted as you know and sold to us as like the best web browser ever you know it's it's you know super you know safe and it also um keeps us away from you know big brother's eyes but fast forward to where we are now you know, most of us that have been in this space for a while and have been following that browser for a while, you know, we're quickly been realizing that it's not centralized and it's run by the banks and it's run by Big Brother and run by the governments and all that stuff. Now, I'm not, you know, I have plenty of videos talking about that exact same subject, you know, Brave Browser, Bat Token and all this shit. If you're more interested in that, please check out those other videos in my library talking exactly about that. But today, you know, we're just going to be talking about the fact that you know, we had a problem, which is surfing the internet anonymously, censorship free, and all that stuff. Sorry, I'm gonna turn this off. I keep forgetting to turn off the, the fridge with all the noise. Um, and uh, then somebody came about, which is, by the way, the creator of the Brave Browser was the same guy that invented JavaScript and stuff like that. So he created this browser so that we can not only safely surf the internet, um, we can be censorship free, ad free, um, all this stuff, our, our, our information and metadata is protected. If all of a sudden we want to give that information up, you know, we would get compensated, AKA paid for it and so on and so forth. But as all this stuff started getting implemented within the browser, we, you know, started quickly realizing that this stuff is extremely centralized. And in order for one to really take advantage of this, well, one has to sign up with you know, uh, KYC, which is know your customer, which again, AKA, all this really means is that you gotta give up your passport, your, your license, your information to the government so that the government knows exactly every single thing that you're doing and then they'll allow you to use this stuff. And so th at the end of the day, you know, I've talked about this many, many times before that we're going to be coming up with all these solutions using all this new technology, all right, in order to, you know, 
again, have create solutions for all these problems that we have right now in this digital age, but we have to be very, very careful because as of right now, this Brave browser and this Bat token is being used more and more all over the place. It's starting to become a little bit more mainstream. Now when you go to Twitter, you see like they have a way to pay in Bat payments. A lot of people are downloading this Brave browser just like a lot of people started downloading Google Chrome back in the day. and. Um, it's starting this snowball effect where a lot of people are thinking this is awesome, but in reality, you know, you're really just, you know, again, signing your, your, you know, your privacy away. Even though they're telling you that you're doing, that you're not doing that, that they're protecting your privacy, but you're not. You're literally selling now your personal data for some tokens that at the end of the day, not everyone can have access to. Because again, why I, I have finally given up on the Brave browser is because in order for you to access these tokens, because remember, you, you with the Brave browser, you'll be able to get paid, you know, to browse the web, to block ads, you know, to everything that you would normally do on the internet, you get paid for in bat tokens. But then again, when you're when you're about to, you know, get these bat tokens, you know, they literally, you know, give you this contract. Give, you know, literally, it, could, it, it was almost written by Satan himself, and he's like, okay, you, you want your tokens, you want your money, you gotta sign away here. And then once you sign and give us all your information, we gotta approve you, and guess what? We're probably not gonna approve most of you guys out there. But thanks for your information anyway, suckers. And they, and then all this money, all this, because literally, you're, you're earning money for using this browser, now all that money goes to that bank and to that system. So, you know, a while ago, there was plenty of people that were very dissatisfied with this. And so they, they decided to create a solution. And they did. And it was, it's called the, D, it's called the D, D Center web browser. I'm going to see if I can put some images here so you guys can take a look a little bit more. But again, if you guys want more information on, on the center and um, the web browser and all of this stuff that I'm going to be talking about, please just do some research on your, on your own. Just put in you know, in the Google searching. And, and again, if you guys want more information, just ask and I'll, I'll be more than happy to provide it. Or again, even if you want how-to videos, again, just let me know in the comments and I will, you know, um, make how-to videos like I have before on others, on other things. But the point is, is that, um, we, you know, let, let's move to Twitter real quick. You know, we know that there's a lot of censorship on Twitter and Twitter is now, um, you know, literally kicking people off for just saying the wrong thing or commenting on the wrong thing or retweeting the wrong thing. And so people created, just a group of people out there created this other alternative Twitter called Gab. Now, again, I know Gab, you know, is um, literally put into a corner and people say that it's super conservative, super right wing, super whatever. But again, that's not what this episode's about. And I don't really know because I, don't, I haven't really been on Gab. I just opened up my account the other day in order so that I can start exploring this new decentralized internet that has been closed to all of us due to all these major companies um, taking over the internet. So long story short, um, in order for me to not just use Decenter, the new web browser, and download it. I, um, I, I, in order for me to do that, I had to create an account with Mastodon. I had to create an account with Gab and all these other um, decentralized entities. And by the way, as I was creating these things, it, it is decentralized. It is um, your privacy is protected, and so on and so forth. And uh, and and th this is you know this is the point that I'm trying to make, and as to why I wanted to make this episode because as I was trying to go through all this, you know, trying to download. Uh, Decenter and, and and use the Decenter web browser and take full advantage of uh, Decenter um, as opposed to having Brave, um, you know, using Brave. Which, by the way, I took off my computer. Um, I only have it there just in case I need to use the Brave browser for something, but I'm not using it anymore. And um, the same thing goes with Gab. Now I'm still on Twitter and so on and so forth. But the reason I opened up a Gab account, the reason I opened up a Mastodon account, the reason I opened up uh, the uh, Decenter account and all this other stuff, it, it's literally because I I, I want to be on the cutting edge of all this stuff. I don't want to be censored. I don't want to be anything. In fact, I took it to the next level and I even opened up my BitChute account which even though I've known for a while, I decided, you know what, it's time for me to open up my BitChute account and start uploading certain videos on there that might li most likely are gonna get start to get censored and uh, you know shadow banned on the internet anyway. So why not use the tools that we have available 
that again are going to allow us to literally go around the censorship because that's the thing we already have um, you know tools available to us that are going to allow us to again stream online without getting censored like the live remember you can you can get uh, censored on youtube and twitch but you're not going to get censored on the live same thing goes for um the, the decenter um web browser you know you're now allowed to really freely explore the the internet and do whatever you want on the internet and in fact take this to another step no, sorry take this an extra step forward and now what decenter allows you to do is it allows you to comment on any web page on the internet how awesome is that so now you're able to comment on any web page um, where before you were neighbor not allowed to do that and in many cases they've been restricting comments or taking away comments from a lot of other you know mainstream you know web pages out there so as they as the governments, as the people in power try to censor more and more and more the internet and us as each day passes, well, guess what? We are already 10 steps ahead. Now, what happens is, is that as we get more and more censored and it starts affecting you, the individual out there on an individual basis, then that's when you take it upon yourself to this, you know, go and search for these other tools that will allow you to get back to business as usual meaning you know working on the internet using the internet without getting censored again another way in which people are getting censored is by you know um the people in power are they literally close your bank accounts they close your your paypal accounts they won't even allow you to have some of these things sometimes depending on who you are you know if you're too poor you're you're, you're probably not even allowed to have a bank account for reals you know anyone out there that's poor as fuck all right can please leave a comment below and and let and let us all know the truth but the reality is that even if you do have a bank account you know again it's at risk of being taken away by you know it's something as simple as you know buying something on the wrong website or purchasing bitcoin or whatever but again you know the reason that most of you guys out there again you know you guys are always asking me about bitcoin and crypto is because you guys have no idea what this is for because you guys haven't had a need to use it yet okay now if you ask the typical person in venezuela argentina israel i mean not israel sorry <laughs> in the vicinity I'm sorry, turkey um china um and so on and so forth if you ask any of these individuals in which they have um economic turmoil um you know happening right now as we speak they all know how to use crypto and you know why it's because they were forced to learn so it's the same thing for you guys you know um you guys are going to start being forced to learn you know again that's why a lot of people in the u.s know how to use gab or know or, or have figured out a, you know ways around you know the censorship on the internet because it's already been affecting you and so that's the thing all i'm trying to say here is that right now we're in the middle of this battle against the powers that be this happens every 500 years or so give or take literally look at the history of humans but the re again, you know, but you know, what's happening right now is that the Pandora's box is open. What do I mean by that? Well, all this new technology, whether it's the blockchain, crypto stuff, or whatever it is, you know, all this new technology that's uh, all coming on the horizon, all or, or is being used right now by us, um, is is literally what is uh, blazing the trails and be and helping us be pioneers in this new world that we're about to embark on. Because if you're looking at the world right now, just from the perspective of uh, where we're at and where we're going, sure, everything looks very, very bleak. It really, really does look very bleak. I get it. You know, we're living in fuck. You know, we're we're about to be uh, um, heading into you know Terminator 2. Um, what is it like the future of uh, you know the robots taking over? We're in my apocalypse now. You know. Um, all that shit but the reality is again if you are really looking at what's going on around the world and, and look at other parts of the world and how they are managing a lot of this new technology whether it's robots whether it's artificial intelligence you know whether it's uh bitcoin it doesn't matter it's actually it, it, when you really look at what's really going on and how all this stuff is really being used around the world guess what guys it's actually benefiting humans it's actually benefiting all of us it's actually benefiting um civil the, the human race as a whole and it's actually stripping away the power 
from those who have it right now, which is the very, very, very few elites out there, which you know have all the money, have all the power, and and, and control everything. And again, as ever, as each day passes, you know we are slowly but surely, you know, making waves, and we're literally um, uncensoring ourselves as they censor us. The more we get censored, the more they they. Um, they molest us. The, the more they literally um, do horrible things to us, the people, to shut us up, to starve us, to you know, literally eliminate us. Well, guess what? The more of a reason we have to discover and use these technologies in order to fight back. And again, the more we go down this rabbit hole, the more we realize that we actually have all the tools available right now. And the ones, the tools that we don't have are being built right now. And the reality is, is that all we really need to be doing right now is educating ourselves, educating, 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 educating on every facet humanly possible so that we are as best prepared as possible so that when we get to the, the, the point in which we need to start really using this technology to, again, push ourselves forward and leave behind the, the old system that we're allowed that we're able to do so because again right again guys right now you know we we have all this stuff available but most of us don't know it's available you know we have the solution to a lot of our problems but if you ask the typical person out there in the world everyone is saying oh my goodness the, everything looks like it's uh we're in dire straits woe is me complain 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 this sucks, everything sucks, what can we do, there's nothing we can do, blah, 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 blah. But the reality is that that's not the case at all. We, there's plenty that we have, that we have plenty of tools to fight back. But the main tool that we all need is knowledge and confidence, okay? But basically, both go hand in hand with each other, and if we don't have this stuff, then, well, guess what? We're not gonna be able to do anything. And that's the major, 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 you know, um, point to today's episode is the fact that we cannot be censored. They can try to censor us. They can try to shut us up. They can try to literally, you know, put a stop to all this, but they're never going to. I mean, for reals, guys, the, the, we are always, you know, whether it's the criminal, you know, wh again, whether, whether it's a real criminal or whether it's just us, the people that are being labeled as criminals, it doesn't matter. We're always going to be 10 steps ahead. Always. No matter what. The thing is that, where are you standing? Are you taking those extra steps to be ahead of the pack with everybody else? You know, the few that are there? Or are you not taking any steps at all and you're just, again, behind with the times and behind with everything? So what happens is, is that when you're not taking the proper steps to get ahead, then you're behind. And then when you're behind, all you, what you, the only thing that you see ahead of you is the status quo, which is what they're always trying to sell you. And when that's all you ever hear or know, then of course everything is always lost. You feel me? You, you live in this world you, in your own mind, which you yourself create, which is, again, literally how society controls each and every one of us. Once you, you know, what happens is that you, you know, society puts you many, many steps behind and then it, it makes you think and it, it puts you in such a deep hole that you think that you will never be able to make, make headway. You'll never be able to, you know, stop yourself from drowning. You'll never be able to get ahead. But the reality is that that cannot be any further from the truth, literally. And the, the, the real reality is, is that the further that they step on us, the further they push us back and down, the, the more they step on they step on us and, and, and literally powder us to dust, the more they do that, well, guess what? The more power we actually have because we have less and less and less to lose as each day goes on. And as we are literally put up, you know, as our backs are up against the wall, as, you know, the consequences to our actions, you know, are actually on par with literally losing everything. Meaning that it, when 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 uh, when you have to choose whether you know it, either you're going to starve to death or fight for your freedom, 
when the choice is that dire, well, guess what? You know, you are gonna be pushing because you got nothing to lose. You're gonna starve to death anyway. You might as well fight for your life and the life of others. So that's 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 the point. So this is why you always see these, um, you know, the people in power and society and all this shit, always, you know, keeping us on the brink, but never taking us to that brink. And if they ever cross that line, of really, you know, taking us to the brink of, you know, nothing, then that's when we as the people start the revolution, fight back, push back, because again, we got nothing else to lose. And that's where we're heading right now. Because if you're looking at just the world stage, you know, of everything that's happening around the world, that's where we're all at as humanity, at, for the most part, in most places. Then we have nothing left to lose. And with that being said, you know, that is why they can't censor us. They can't shut us up. They can't stop Bitcoin. They can't stop any of the shit that's coming their way. And in fact, again, as time goes on, it just gets worse for us. And in turn, it's only going to get worse for them. Because the harder it is for us, the more difficult it is for us, the more trouble that we, the people, are going through. The, the, you know, just again, as the, the chips start stacking more and more, you know, against us, well, guess what? In a weird way, that makes us the underdog. That makes us, you know, hungrier. That makes us, you know, um, you know, g come up with this mentality of nothing left to lose. And then that's where you start seeing all the magic that you see happening all around the world right now. Where you see, you know, people like me, you know, literally moving to another country so that we can still do what we're doing. Even if they shut me down, which again, God forbid, and I hope that it doesn't happen, knock on wood. But I'm prepared, you know, I'm, I'm already laying the, the foundation and the blueprint so that I can remain doing what I'm doing and so on and so forth. And again, you know, back to the whole Pandora's box thing, it's already open. You know, they can shut one person up, but they can't shut everybody up. They just can't, period, end of story. They might squash five people, but every five people they squash, 10 more appear. They squash those 10, a hundred appear. They squash a hundred, a thousand appear. And that's it. So I really hope that today's episode was, um, it, 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 it was of some value to you guys. I hope that you guys understand more as to why I do what I do, why I talk about all the things that I talk about, why I never, never, never give up talking about these things because again, a year ago, you know, the only people that were listening to me were the people in my own echo chamber. Fast forward to today, now I got all kinds of people asking me about all kinds of things that I never thought in a million years where they were gonna ever ask me. Again, you know, the other day I had somebody asking me, what is negative interest rates again? I saw your video, buddy. Can you explain a little further? Of course I can. You know, hey, you know, I, 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 I love the whole Cash App Bitcoin thing, but man, you know, I, I kind of don't get it. Can you help me with that? Of course, here's this video that I made a couple months ago and, and so on and so forth. And why are people now more inclined to educate themselves on all these things? Well, basically because they don't have a choice. Our backs are up against the wall. And as our backs, you know, get closer to that wall, as more of us, are, as more people are joining us on the wall, as, you know, there's more and more um, strife happening around the world, well then guess what? It's only gonna make us stronger and with even less, even more, again, you know, once we're all together, we're in unity and we're all in it for the same thing. It's like, you know, when we first started, we had nothing to lose. Now it's like, well, we kind of really don't have anything to lose because we have each other. But now again, we have each other. So now we can really push back and really start rebuilding. So again, guys, please, you know, don't be sitting on your laurels. Don't be thinking that nothing that we do is is for for no reason at all because it, it couldn't be any further from the truth and uh, last but not least we can, they can never censor us they will never censor us and they cannot censor us they can try that's what they're doing but they're not going to be able to again why the whole bitcoin thing is so important and the technology behind it is because that is what's really allowing us to just skip ahead as they're trying to censor us we're already a few five steps ahead and five more steps ahead and, and, and so on and so forth. And this is the way it's, it's gonna be, period.
So please guys, I encourage you guys to learn more about this wonderful, wonderful world that we're all embarking on. No matter what your fucking age is, I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear business plenty of you guys are like, oh, I'm 60 years old, I'm too old. Or some people that are my age, I'm 37 years old, I'm too old. No, you're not. You're, if you're breathing and you're watching me and you're listening, you're, you're old enough to do this. In fact, the older you are, the more experience and the more knowledge base that you have in order to help those others that are young and need guidance and need help and need experience and need all these other things that they don't have. So we're all needed in this in every single capacity that you can imagine. So stop making excuses, okay? Literally stop making fucking excuses and start taking charge. We're all needed and, um, and again, literally guys, things are only gonna get worse before they get better. So just put yourself in the right position so that you are actually making an impact in the lives of others instead of having your life being impacted in a negative way and having you sit there with your arms crossed singing woe is me I can't do anything about my situation when again you can and you should and you have to start changing your fucking attitude and the way we think about all this stuff because again guys please no matter what you think out there we cannot be censored we will not be censored you could have maybe asked 10 15 years ago this same question and you would have definitely received a different answer but now with everything we have today especially with the technology that I like to talk about from time to time which is the Bitcoin and the, and the blockchain and all this other technology that's coming with that now we really do have the tools to not just fight back but to actually make a very 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 positive impact on our lives and the lives of our children and the lives of literally every other human that hasn't even been born yet and beyond. So guys, the last thing I'm gonna say, stop making excuses and just start getting to work. Even if it's just educating yourself, even if it's just spreading knowledge, even if it's just talking, just do something, all right? All right, enough. A very long-winded episode today. Um, I've been making a lot of long-winded episodes, but hey, whatever. You guys love them, I love making them, so, you know, that's it. All right, so guys, I wanna give a big shout out to all my patrons. Give a big shout out to every single one of you guys out there that is always donating, you know, money through the Cash App, sending me Bitcoin, sending me Digibyte, sending me Tron, sending me, you know, well wishes, you know, it doesn't matter. Even even those, even even the few of you out there sending me horse food for, for Lambo, it's all appreciated, trust me, all right? Horse food is expensive. So, um, I just wanna give, again, big thank you and a big shout out to all of you guys every single one of you that is always here watching my episodes you know all you ogs thank you every single one of you every single one of you guys that's new also thank you welcome welcome to to this thing here and um that's it guys you know i, I gotta get going i just want to just say thank you thank you thank you to all of you and um i wouldn't be able to do any of this stuff without you and uh really i do it for all you guys because otherwise i would just be talking to my horse <laughs> guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to please like please subscribe please share please stay awesome and um, that's it more importantly than anything else just keep spreading the knowledge all right that's it spread the knowledge thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being here and uh, I love you and I'll see you guys manana peace